Falcon Stadium, built in 1962, the site for this college football contest. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Falcons Air Force has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He'll take it from the two. Tackle at the 28. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Down he goes at about the 39-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. They give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 42. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. This safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. out to his wideout. Brought down around the 46-yard line. Call it a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 46-yard line. First down. Nice run there. A four-yard gain by the halfback on the option. That makes it second and six. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. This is the eighth play of this drive. We've played one quarter. Still no score. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Complete, and they make the stop at the 12-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down around the 15-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. made at the 17. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 16. Not much on that try. They'll face a fourth and long. No one on the defensive side of the ball was fooled that time, Brad. North Texas could take the lead with this field goal.
Kicks up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. At the 30. He's taken down at the 31. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Second and ten. Ball on their own 31. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's taken down at the 50. The Falcons taking their first time out of the half. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle around the 42 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Around the 32-yard line. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From the 37-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Bounces off the would-be tackler. They'll make the sack. With that man open, and he dropped it. We've reached halftime, and we couldn't have asked for a better first half. North Texas has got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both of these offenses are known for producing big plays. It's one thing to produce a big play against the average run-of-the-mill defense that you see mostly in college football. And it is quite another to do it against the type of talent these teams are facing. I think they're seeing that, aren't they? It seems like you just bump your head up against the wall. Nothing's going your way. And it, it, it forces you to be extremely patient. But when I start looking at these defenses, I'm seeing a lot of guys that you could probably drop into Madden right now. And they would have a huge impact on the ball game. Next level guys, full grown man full-grown men that you don't want to mess with. So there's a lot of little boys out there playing college football, but there's some next-level guys that are playing some grown man football. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Room around the corner. Tackle made the 42-yard line. 
He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks, and they were able to come up with a decent return. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. down and they need to get it inside the 48. It's picked off. It's the junior. He's got the corner. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From the 47-yard line, first down, North Texas is up a field goal. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He's scrambling. And he dives forward. He did a good job of recognizing that he was the best option for picking up the first. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Steps out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set. He comes in with his dime packing. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He tackles him for a loss. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. This is the ninth play of this drive. North Texas has a three-point lead. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of one there for the halfback. Air Force has called their final timeout. Saves a touchdown. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? North Texas leads it 3 0. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. It's up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. 
And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. The Falcons have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. At the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. He's tackled at about the 33-yard line. Spike stop the clock. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Two times, two times. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 36. Somebody from the defense has got to be able to step up and slow down this offense. Right now, this offense appears to be in rhythm. Let's see what the defensive coordinator can dial up and see who can make this play to stop this offense. Caught with room to work, and he's level at the 45. That brings the second to go. And he stops the clock with a spike. They'll line it up again on third down. three-yard line and a nice pick up there I'll tell you what the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man he has all day but scrambles out and he's gonna come up with a sack spikes the ball Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Going for it all to the end zone! Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And they'll need a prayer here to keep this game alive. This one's going deep to the end zone. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. It's second and 12. Ball on the 33. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. A defensive gem here today in a low-scoring final. 6-0, Six. Six North Texas. Nothing. So that Thank wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.